What's up guys, my name is Aaron Baz, fitness manager at Fit Athletic, and this is your Trainer Tip Tuesday. This week we're talking all things abs. It's important to understand the function of your abs, where they're located, and what each muscle does. This week I want to show you exactly where all the muscles in your abs are located and how you're able to contract them. Part one to the abs is the rectus abdominis. The rectus abdominis runs from the bottom of the sternum to the top of the pelvis. It's responsible for trunk flexion and expiration while you're breathing. The way you contract the rectus abdominis is by squeezing it like an accordion rather than folding it over like a piece of paper. Next up are the obliques. The obliques are located on both sides of the trunk and they're responsible for rotation. Now each side of the trunk has two sets of obliques, the internal and the external external obliques. Now the internal and external obliques are antagonistic movers, meaning they do opposites of each other. For example, if you were rotating to the left side, your external obliques on your right side would be moving you that way, while the internal obliques on that side pull you that way. And as you rotate in the opposite direction, the external obliques on the left side are going to push you back to the right, while the internal obliques on the right side are going to pull you in that direction. Part three to the abs is the transverse abdominis. The transverse abdominis is the deepest of the ab muscles and probably the most important because because it's responsible for stabilization of the vertebral column and the pelvis prior to the movement of your limbs. The transverse abdominis is also responsible for intra-abdominal pressure, therefore you need to really contract it hard before big compound movements like the squat and the deadlift. To engage the transverse abdominis, you want to pull that belly button all the way into the spine and sort of vacuum out your stomach throughout the entire movement. Part four is the pelvic floor. The pelvic the pelvic floor isn't technically part of the abdomen, but it's worth mentioning because in order to contract the abs correctly, you need to know how to squeeze the pelvic floor. Now the pelvic floor is contracted alongside the deep muscles of the back and the abdomen, and it's meant to provide support, stability, and strength to the spine during movement. In order to contract the pelvic floor, you really just need to squeeze your butt cheeks together as hard as you can during the entire rep. Lastly, we have the hip flexors. Now, the hip flexors aren't part of the abdominal muscles either, although they're worth mentioning because many people accidentally contract their hip flexors when they mean to be training their abs. Now, the hip flexors are a group of muscles that pass over the hip joint, which connect the top of the leg to the pelvis and the low back. The function of the hip flexors is to move the thigh closer to the trunk. So in order to contract the hip flexors, you've got to sort of fold your body in half, either bringing your lower body closer to your upper body or your upper body closer to your lower body. Now that you understand the structure and function of the abs, be ready for tomorrow's workout where you're going to put those abs to work. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you tomorrow.